Castela de Aguada, Portuguese, Fort of the Water Point, also known as the Bandra Fort, is a fort located in Bandra, Mumbai. Castela is a misspelling for Portuguese. Castelo, castle. Properly, it should be called Castelo da Aguada, although it seems its Portuguese builders actually called it Forte de Bandora or Bandra Fort. It is located at Land's End in Bandra. It was built by the Portuguese in 1640 as a watchtower overlooking Mahim Bay, the Arabian Sea and the southern island of Mahim. The strategic value of the fort was enhanced in 1661 after the Portuguese ceded the seven islands of Bombay that lay to the immediate south of Bandra to the English. The name indicates its origin as a place where fresh water was available in the form of a fountain, Aguada, for Portuguese ships cruising the coasts in the initial period of Portuguese presence. The fort lies over several levels, from sea level to an altitude of 24 metres 79 feet. Castela de Aguada has been featured in several Hindi films, such as Dil Chata Hay and Buddha Mil Gaya. History The Portuguese, who had established a base in the area in 1534 after defeating Bahadur Shah of Gujarat, built several sea forts along the western Indian coastline. Castela de Aguada was one such strategically located fort, overlooking the Mahim Bay to the south, the Arabian Sea to the west, the islands of Worli to the south and the town of Mahim to the southwest. The fort also guarded the northern sea route into Mumbai harbour. This sea route, a large estuary, was later reclaimed from the sea in the 19th century. During the Portuguese rule, it was armed with seven cannons and other smaller guns as defence. A freshwater spring in the vicinity supplied potable water to passing ships, thus lending the fort its name. After the decline of the Portuguese in the early 18th century, the Marathas became the largest threat to British possessions. Sensing an impending Portuguese defeat, the British partially demolished the fort as a precautionary measure. The demolition would obviate the possibility of the fort being captured by the Marathas, with the possibility of it being used as a forward military base to attack British Bombay. In 1739, the island was invaded by the Marathas, it was ruled by them until 1774 when the British gained possession of the area during the First Anglo Maratha War. In 1830, the British donated large parts of Salset Island, including Land's End, click to view the photosphere, to Byram G. Gigiboy, a Parsi philanthropist. Gigi Boy then established his residence on the hill where the fort is located, and the cape was renamed Byram G. Gigi Boy Point. Conservation In 2003, a conservation program was started by Bandra Band Stand Residences Trust to save the fort. It was spearheaded by a local member of parliament MP, Shabana Azmi, who funded part of the effort from her allotted funds. The brick arch of one of the gateways on the verge of collapse, and the foundation masonry of the fort wall that was in danger of tidal erosion were repaired. The nearby Taj Lands End Hotel is responsible for maintenance of the fort, having inherited it from the previous owners. The fort is owned by the Archaeological Survey of India Included in the fort makeover are the preservation of the natural rock formations, providing pathways, and the creation of an amphitheater. The architect for the makeover was P.K. Doss, who had earlier redesigned the Carter Road area. See also Mahim Fort Worli Fort List of forts in Maharashtra